Guess what everyone, this is Chris Kendall from TheRawVantage.com and I got a super, super hype interview for you. Someone that I've known for quite a while, a brother from another mother, someone I love and want to share with you. You've seen him a little bit. We got Ted Carr. Yeah. What's going on, gangster? <laughs> it's, uh, it's going on. Yeah, it's going on. It's going on here. The Raw Living Expo. Yeah, loving it up at the Raw Living Expo. It's pretty crazy out in California, bumping up with a whole bunch of uh, raw food heads, right? Yeah. Expanding the community and the connections. How are you enjoying it? It's a... Uh, being outside is where it's at. The Raw Living Expo, most of it takes place indoors, but you can come out and have just a good of a time. Like yeah. Your homies are in the sun and uh, staying full on fruit. It feels great. Heck yeah, man. Yeah, I'm going to be pumping some kindling yoga in the sunshine. I'm loving that. Kindling quickie. Yeah, a little bit of kindling quickie. So, Tan Carr, man, I would like you to introduce yourself to my audience. Let people know where you're from, where you're at, and where they can find you. Cool. I'm a 23 year old. From Vancouver, Canada. Um, been eat, I've been in the, the health scene now for about five years. For all the uh, for Karen for over four years now. So uh, loving it. And I race triathlon. That's like my main my main gig. And um, I run a YouTube channel called Do You Feel the Burn, where I put up uh, short one, two, three minute workouts where you can get a really kick-ass workout in a really short period of time. So Do You Feel the Burn? Is it with a Y O U or a U? Why are you? Yeah, okay, do you feel the burn? That's right. Sick, sick. So what's your passion? You're, you're, just, you're spreading your passion through this. What's like your main yeah. kind of goal here? I mean, here at the Raw Living Expo? Oh, uh, we'll start there and then we'll go into with your sure. website and what you like, push yeah, out. Yeah, my share. main passion, the reason I came to the Expo was to be around like minds. Yeah. Being around like minds is so key. It feels so good to be around friends, family. Chris is like family to me now, man. Like, um, just being around people is, feels really, really good. And, uh, but, uh, I love coming to expos, festivals, that sort of thing. But uh, main gig in life right now is really pursuing triathlon and just sharing the health message that you you can eat a really clean fruit diet and still achieve all your health and fitness goals. So uh, I'm just I'm just being the change I want to see. I'm setting the example and uh, following my love of sport. So I do a lot of swimming, biking, and running. That's awesome, man. Yeah, whether you're looking for inspiration or you're looking to like you know change your game and like. Real fine-tuned tips on how to succeed, not only as a raw food, but just like with athletic, with athletic prowess, right? Tips, man, for that. So I want to ask you, man, what are what are three things? You've seen a lot of success and growth in okay, athletic, we athleticism, right? What are the three okay. biggest things you would recommend people to pay attention to and or do to uh, increase their athletic prowess? Well, first off, never do it for any other reason than you want to actually like achieve and actually do something, or just that you actually love you love doing that sport. Um, a lot of people do it, do activity, do exercise for weight loss, and um, it never ends too well. You get really bored really quickly if you do anything for weight loss reasons. So do it for the love of it, do it for the fun of it, and um, so that'd be the first one. Just do it for the love of, of love of movement. Find find whatever sport or activity you love. Make up a sport. Make up a sport. Make up a game. Just move. I love it. Um, second tip would be to set, set a goal for yourself. Set one goal for yourself and just focus on that. Um, and a goal is something that's objective, something that's very specific and that, that you know you've accomplished. Um, and a goal will really keep you on focus, long term. Set a long term goal. So for example, you want to climb Mount Everest. That might be a goal. Climb Mount Everest. Or you want to do a back bend in yoga. Um, and Inevitably, when you accomplish that goal, you'll, you'll have the body of your dreams, so be at the weight that you desire. And without even having to focus on changing anything about your body, you just focus on the activity and um, the body will shape to that. So, first tip is to do it for the love of it. Second tip is to uh, set a big goal. And then, third tip would be to, uh, you got to fuel your body right, you got to take care of your body. So, starting off with fueling, you gotta got to get the, the, the seasonal fruit in, the fully raw fruits, that's the best way to fuel your body. If you want to race like a Lamborghini, you got to put the best fuel in, so seasonal fruit, ripe seasonal fruit being that fuel. And then, uh, not to keep your body, you got to rest the battery as well. So, no matter how much gas you're putting in, if you're not recharging the battery with enough sleep, 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 you're just not going to be able to, to put out as much uh, uh, energy into your, into your athletics. So, get enough sleep. So those are my three tips.
to the Woodstock Fruit Festival, go to the Thai Fruit Festival, go to any raw living expo you can find, any raw food retreat, whatever. Chris is doing a retreat in Costa Rica, hit that up. Just surround yourself with like minds. I'm um, got Evan Rock sitting right here. Yeah, and, uh, pop in here, brother. Just How surround yourself with like minds and you feel really, really good. When you're feeling good, you can accomplish anything. Rock fruit zen. What's up, guys? How, how are we doing? Look at how powerful fruit we got here. You have a nice shirt on. Look at that. I love it. Yeah, I just have a, I've seen like five people with this shirt. So yeah. You're doing well. Yeah. Loving it, man. It's spreading it, right? So it's one that just makes smiles come about, right? You have a message for the people? Sir? Got a message. Yeah. You know, the, the core of raw foods is the fresh fruits and vegetables. It's not the super food. It's not the packaged. It's not the dehydrated. It's not the snake oil. Keep it simple and just start with that. If you want to experiment a little bit, you, know you can, but remember, you, you're not going to de develop any deficiencies overnight. Yeah, so, all you need fruits, vegetables, those big, deep, big, and free roots that come up into the fruits, right? It's beautiful, right? Get them all in there. Seasonal ripe fruit. Yeah. Key. Yeah. Focus on this the sunlight, the air, the water, the exercise. These things. How do you do a proper squat? So, biggest issue people have with their squat is they don't go hip crease beneath the knee. A lot of people stop shy, they do a squat about here. And maybe they'll bend their back. But focus on getting your hip crease just beneath the knee and keeping your knees wide. If you keep these knees wide, you'll have a nice squat. Um, and they have a nice shot right there. Yeah. yeah so, <laughs> keep, keep your hip crease beneath your knee. And a lot of people aren't able to go hip crease beneath the knee because they sit in chairs all day long which restrict them. They sit in chairs like this all day long and their hip, 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 hip flexors get tight and hamstrings get tight, ass get laminated. So stand up every now and then and just do some squats and uh, move your body and uh, get hip crease beneath the knee. Check out Do You Feel the Burn, 100squatsaday.com for, for more Definitely. information on squatting. Definitely check them out. And I'm going to have links right below for both Ted and Mr. Rock over here. So you'll be able to check them both out. Check out their YouTube channels, everything else. If you like it, hit like. Much love, guys. Thanks Subscribe, for watching. Subscribe. Comment down below. That's it. That's it. Rob Band, out. Ted Carr. Do you feel the burn? Check out these two super popular videos, and uh, you know, you could click down below there if you want to get two free ebooks and a free recipe book excerpt. Ooh. Excited to announce my new iPhone app, free with 101 freaking Ross awesome recipes, Terry Retreat Treats, food combining charts, shopping carts, and more.